Hi guys, welcome back to Noob Selling Options and yesterday was Monday night and Monday night I'm always like the most busy for me because it's where I have to enter my vertical spreads and we have to respond to whatever news that's in the market and because news yesterday was Elon Musk declared that he has actually a 9.2% stick in uh, Twitter now okay so he will be very vocal about it and uh, and it's going to be interesting to see what 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 will happens going on. But the moment this news is out, the Twitter shares is up by quite a big percentage, twenty five percent. It's almost thirty percent. So I did some action, and we'll have to go through it on the next slide. Okay. So what I did yesterday was as usual. If we look, let me change this to the laser pointer. Okay. So if we look at so once the market is open, in Singapore time about 9.30 due to daylight saving nowadays, uh, 9.30 p.m. I try to enter because the market is pretty bullish, you know, when it's pretty bullish and I'm doing a bull put spread, it's usually very hard to get because I'm trying to plant the spread that's quite low. Okay, I managed to get, but Lucky Tesla was a bit red. Okay, I tried to get some Google, 26,000, didn't get it because Google was just green from the from the opening bell it's just green and more green like up 20 up 30 up 40 up 50 <clears throat> so it's a very difficult for me to get a, at least a point two premium for my bubble spread and usually i have to go for at least 20 bucks you know because minus commission is about 19 bucks okay so i'm going for this week i'm going for the tens the ten dollar split uh, you can see this nine nine thirty nine twenty I entered three at this rate, then I decided to enter more because I can't enter for Google. And so I, after a while, I decided to enter another three more. So I have six pairs of vertical spread, uh, 9.30 slash 9.20, okay, for Tesla. Then after that, I decided to uh, enter a bit more high because Tesla sort of, you know, um, become a more bullish a bit. Uh, I decided to enter going up. Uh, 945 940 so uh, this week Tesla must not fall below uh, 945 if not then uh, this pair will be in a bit of trouble so the premium is about 18 but it's only like $500 per pair so it's still fine okay so I collected pretty I think here was like 18 so it's about 100 plus here about hundred dollars from you so it's about 200 i would say 200 usd from all this vertical spread for the week i try to enter more but i can't because it has been a bit too too bullish okay uh, i usually try to enter tesla or google so only tesla gave me the opportunity yesterday because at the opening bell they were a bit red a uh, slightly red so i at least managed to enter at a decent price okay so then i saw twitter so twitter i it's very bullish so when it's very bullish i need to do uh, the bear calls spread you know bull put spread and i'm going to do the upper upper side that is the the, the bear call spread okay so i was uh, on the on i'm entering 55 slash 60 this means that um uh, I'm, I'm sort of betting that the twitter will not go above 55 for this week even if it goes above 55, I will lose this trade and it will cost me about um, 470 USD. But it's fine because I have another order at the Tiger which will offset the losses. Okay, so if so, ideally for me to gain maximum gain for the, all this trade in TD and Tiger account, uh, it will be best for Twitter to end this Friday below 55 and above 50. Okay, somewhere between is fine for me. Okay, so I uh, collect about. 30 bucks very little 30 dollars that's before commission commission is about a pair will be about one dollar forty cents so it's about twenty eight dollars sixty cents usd for this trade but it's better than nothing okay so after that i did because i already used the o option buying power for the bull put spread i can actually create an iron condor with the because tesla is very bullish so i can actually shift it very high to uh back uh, the back of spread about thousand three and thousand three two five and the premium collected is about 21 after the tesla is even more bullish and then i entered about two more at rates of uh, 0.52 you know so you don't show hand everything when you enter 
uh, slowly, steadily, then after that, but this is the max I'm going to answer. I'm not going to answer more Tesla back or spread, you know, I'll find other opportunity if it uh, arises. Okay, so, and then there's this uh, Occidental Petroleum Corporation, which Ron Buffett invested quite a bit. Uh, so this one, my mentor actually uh, told me that he entered this, so I was saying, that, eh, not bad, a strike price of 53. Seems like it's a good deal. I also entered 10 myself, so I collected about 170 premiums on this. For Tesla, this one another 100. So if you can see 100 here, about um, 100 here, $30 here, 100 from here. Um, here we have about 80. So yeah, about I think easily 500 more from, from all this. That's the target, about 500 via the vertical spread or you know all these things we should get about 500 usd per per week okay and that is the tesla oh so tesla and for for this part is i actually bought some um leap call that is far out of the money that are two four seven five call here so i decided to close it because you know when i mean it's better to close on hype you know you get very good um very good very good price for those lead call options and um, of course i didn't close at the very i mean I, I didn't close at the peak as usual i cannot buy at the bottom i can't close at the peak so this is pretty much standard for me but if tesla should maintain the price or go lower slightly uh, then this price will actually probably go back to about nine dollar or eight dollar where i can load up again if i want okay so after clearing it uh, for a slight profit i think the profit is probably about probably this two profit about we're talking about maybe 200 USD or 150 USD profit. I have to tabulate over the weekend to see what's the actual profit for that. And after that, I decided to because with this, this this will free up about 2,000 of margin. So with that cash available, I decided to buy a bit of. You know, I woke up in the middle of the night to 3 a.m. almost 3 a.m. and decided to to buy some WPA 17 shares. Not much. 17 shares is a few hundred dollars. Uh, and I decided to enter a lead call that is almost two years out. Okay, that's the 202 for January 20th. And it costs about $910. So as long as uh, the target for, this is uh, probably a short-term trade. Uh, target is for WBA between this two years, as long as it hit 50, I can consider to sell it. The earlier it reach, reaches 50, the, the, the better, the, more, the higher gain I will receive, okay? If it reaches at the end, then probably, you know, but I have a two-year period for WBA to to enter. And, and this is the first entry. I probably will enter one more or two more. It depends on the price. If WBA goes down further, if this one goes to seven or this one goes to six, then it's I think it's a good opportunity for me to load in some more. Uh, I won't. I won't get anything that's eight dollar plus. At least must be. I would say seven dollars and below. Then I will enter the next next entry. Okay. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. Okay. So that is on the TD side. I have done all the for for the company Tesla, Walgreens, Boot Alliance, and um, Occident Occidental Occidental Petroleum Corporation and Twitter. So from, yeah, got a good amount of premiums collected. And uh, so the key highlight was the Tesla must be between the range of 945 at the low side and 1300 on the high side by end of Friday. And Twitter must be below, um, by Twitter? Oh, Twitter must be below 55. And uh, Occidental Petroleum Corporation must be above 53, okay? For WBA, uh, for WBA is just a long-term thing. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. This week is not critical. You can just hold as long as. And anyway, they will move so much by this week. Okay. So let's um, let's see what I've done in my 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 Tiger account. So for my Tiger account, the first thing when the, I saw the news, you know, of course, very excited. Just like anyone, FOMO, I bought hundred shares of Twitter and going to the plan is to sell call when it like you know when the market opens and that's what i did you see i bought local time 7 p.m around 7 p.m i bought 100 shares at this price actually if i waited a while i could have got it gotten it at 47 point something but it doesn't matter this is a uh, uh, eventually if it twitter goes up it will be we can't get the bottom you know okay so that is uh, so at the moment market opens you know not 9 9 9 31 just almost two minutes into the market i, I did a sell call 
for strike price 55 so if Twitter goes above 55 what's happened is uh, I will gain almost five dollar plus on this and I have to sell call I mean like plus so the though if Twitter is above 55 the total gain from here will be about six hundred dollars okay six hundred USD maybe six fifty or six seventy okay six is very decent gain but if it's above 55 I will lose money on this side because I will lose 400 plus so my aim so plus 660 here and minus 470 there overall is still a net positive and that's why I wanted to enter this um, the bear cost spread for just $30 because I'm a really sort of an, you know I'm gonna get this $30 but unlikely that Twitter would shoot above 55 should be staying in the range 50 around this range so so we have see so even if it goes above 55 it's covered if it goes below 55 that I get the extra $30 I get this sell call and if it stay around here next week I'll sell call again I'll keep selling call until Twitter goes above 55 that is um, probably we call the real strategy here so probably some good money to be earned in times to come of course if Twitter goes below uh, like 46 or 47 then probably I'll sell call at maybe 50 to to just get premium and uh, eventually it's to uh, be positive it's just either you get it clear Twitter this week next week or the following week, or you know you, you hold it for a longer period of time okay so I've been holding a uh, stone uh, for $13 uh, one lot only so I just decided to sell call since uh, you know when, when the market is so green it's always good to sell call got, got about 35 dollars here but minus three dollars for commission in in a uh, tiger the commission for options is very expensive about three dollar plus for uh, one contract so uh, no choice is uh, that's what I, I'm, I'm doing there okay so that's that's for stone I have 100 shares that's why I'm selling a cup uh, a covered call here okay for Tesla uh, this is a naked call I'm, I'm selling a naked call it means I it is uh, on the assumption that Tesla is not going to go above 1375 by end of Friday okay market close after hours I'm going to collect about for me I call this uh, theoretically free money because uh, statistically proven it shouldn't move so much between a single week yes it can happen maybe one next week or the following week but it should not happen this week okay and uh, collect the premiums about 67 after commission maybe 63 USD because I have the margin there so why not just collect some you know $50 is fine $60 that's the interesting thing that's why Monday I'm always very busy because I have to do it have to find $50 here have to find $60 there have to find $20 here uh, yeah to, but once I enter this trade uh, then that's the end uh, I don't need to monitor so closely until uh, like, uh, maybe Wednesday or Thursday but I do watch it every day just in case something weird happens and in the Tesla I also sold uh, two contracts of the lead call that's far off the money I have two in TD I have two in Tiger as well uh, this one I got it about 8.7 so 8.7 and you know uh, probably earn about 300 from these two contract pretty pretty good profit and I will look for an opportunity to get it back at the lower levels again okay if, if it gives me the chance and I so I have 16 contracts of Fubo and I sold three contract at 8.5 I already sold six contract at eight dollars for this week as well collect some premium twenty dollar twenty plus is still good three contract minus commission twenty six dollars USD is better than nothing you know I got a FUBU at 16 very unfortunate situation as a result probably I will need to wait for them to but they will probably hover around seven dollars to ten dollars for a period of time before they they shift up to the next gear okay so so meanwhile I just have to make sure that I I get some some money here and there but I don't dare to sell all my contracts because just in case there's a you know there's a bumper news or there's anything happen you know I can at least hold the rest and then sell put to, to, for, for those that have those shares that I've lost and then we, we can just try this is called the wheel strategy okay when applying the wheel strategy for FUBO just getting some interest along the way okay so that's all I did yesterday a pretty pretty adventurous night you see mm. You see all the way morning because this day is very green so it's very nice to watch if it's a very red day usually it's just a uh, red day we can't really do much because the sell call is also not a good premium you know yeah but if we, it's a red day the vertical spread bull put spread will be having very very good premium but that one usually is you know uh, yeah uh, that that's gone over the days you know it's like probably three weeks ago and we have those situation but now it's the VIX is pretty low and uh, 
and I don't really have the opportunity every time every Monday is like very green you know that's that's interesting probably they will be red on uh, Wednesday or Thursday and the same cycle again but doesn't matter to me I just sell my options and collect the premiums okay so I'll see you again soon probably in, uh, I don't know because when there's an action-packed day I'll update you guys and have a good day see you again